Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to multiply decimals and multiplying decimals. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when multiplying decimals together. The first thing you have to do is ignore the decimal points and multiply as if they were whole numbers. This is a little bit different than adding or subtracting decimals because for adding, for addition and subtraction, you're supposed to line the decimal points up. But in the case of multiplying, you're just going to ignore the decimal and multiply just as if they were whole numbers. After multiplying, you will count how many digits are behind the decimal points in the numbers being multiplied. And then you will move the decimal point to the left by that amount. Let's say you count four digits behind the decimal point. That means you're going to move your decimal point, your answer, one, two, three, four times. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and jump down to our first practice problem. This problem gives us 1.2 times 8.4. Now the first step is to multiply these two together as though they were whole numbers. We're just going to multiply 1.2 times 8.4. We're going to go, so from right to left you're going to say 2 times 4, well that's 8. And then 1 times 4 is 4. And then we add our 0, like you do when you move over. And then we go 2 times 8, well that's 16, so we carry the 1. And then 1 times 8, well that's 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. And then you add these together. So we go 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 6 is 10, I'm going to put a 0 here and carry the 1, and then 1 plus 9 is also 10. Now the decimal point in our answer is currently right here behind it. In order to place this in the right spot in our answer, we're going to count how many digits were behind the decimal point when we multiplied. So in 1.2 we have one digit, and in 8.4 we also have one digit. We have two total digits behind the decimal point. This means we have to move the decimal point two times in our answer. So we move it once, and we move it twice. And it's going to be in between the zeros. So our final answer is going to be 10.08 for this decimal multiplication problem. Moving on to our second problem on multiplying decimals, this practice problem gives us 3.5 times 9.1. So again, I'm just going to multiply as if they were whole numbers, so 3.5 times 9.1. The first thing is we have to multiply 5 times 1, so that's going to be 5, and then 5, and then 3 times 1, so that's going to be 3. So we're going to move over, so we have to add our 0 as our placeholder. Then we're going to do 3 times 5. Then we're going to do 5 times 9, and that's going to be 45, so I'm going to put a 5 here, and then carry the 4, and then 3 times 9 is 27, 27 plus 4 is 31. And I'm going to add those together just like you normally would, so we're going to say 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and then this is 0 plus 1, so 1, and then just 3. Now. We have 3,185 as our answer, the decimal point's right here for now, but we have to move this decimal point. So again, we have to count the digits behind the decimal point in our problem. So we have one digit here and one digit here. That's going to be two digits. That means we're going to move the decimal point two times. So we're going to take the decimal point, we're going to move it once, twice. And it's going to go in between the 1 and the 8. And our final solution is going to be 31.85 for this multiplication problem. And moving on to our final problem on how to multiply decimals, this gives us 1.75 times 4.93. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the decimals into a multiplication problem so that I can multiply. And I'm going to multiply as I normally would. So we're going to say 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 7 times 3, which is 21, plus 1 is going to be 22, so we carry the 2. And then 1 times 3 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. So I'm going to go ahead and cross these off, add a 0, 9. 
And then we're gonna, so then we're gonna move on to our next number. So we're gonna say five times nine. Well, that's 45. Carry the four. And then seven times nine is 63. 63 plus four, 67. And carry the six. And then one times nine is nine. Nine plus six is 15. And to do the four, we have to add two zeros for placeholders. So we're gonna say, Five times four, well that's 20, and we carry the two. And then seven times four, well that's 28, and we carry the, and we add two, so that's gonna be 30, and then we carry the three. And then one times four is four, four plus three is seven. So we're gonna add those together. Five plus zero plus zero is five. Two plus five plus, or two plus five plus zero is seven. 5 plus 7 is 12, 5 plus 1 is 6, and then 7 plus, or then 1 plus 7 is 8. Now, we have 86,275, but we have to count the digits after the decimal place in order to place our decimal point. So it's right here, right now, but we have to count 1, 2, so this is 2 digits, 3, 4. So we have 4 total digits. So that means we're gonna move the decimal point four times. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four times. And we're gonna end up with 8.6275 as our final answer for this multiplication of decimal problem. And if you wanna do some practice problems on multiplying decimals, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video and you'll be taken to a quick practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.